hello guys today in this video we are going to create low poly rocks and this scene in blender so let's get started let me uh, turn on the screencast key so you can easily see the keys i press so first of all delete all the default objects now add a cube Okay, now scale it like about four times and add a subdivision surface modifier up to level 5 add a displace modifier and add a new texture select the Voronoi texture from the list and you can see these noises to sharpen them I will set distance to distance square now uh, it's more sharper than before if I increase the size with the slider then you can see this image size also increases and the noise all, uh, decreases. Displacement is based on this texture so I'll adjust it till I get something that looks like rock. Uh, this. Now you have to decrease the depth of the noise to maybe uh, like about 0.2 or 0.3. Okay, perfect. Go to modifier section and turn on modifier display in edit mode. You can change the shapes and sizes of the rocks till you get satisfactory results. This looks good. Let's apply these modifiers. So if you want to keep as it is it's okay but because our video is about low poly there it has really very huge amount of vertices so to decrease them i will add decimate modifier you can see these phases are really high now if i decrease the slider value number of phases will also decrease i will just uh, keep it to this level and okay applied so there are still unwanted vertices on the faces of the stone so just press w to select freeform select and select all the unnecessary vertices on the face of the stones now press x and select dissolve vertices similarly for all the faces You see these edges, you can also dissolve them. This looks uh, really good. Now we have this low poly rock. You can shade it smooth or you can also auto smooth it. Alright, now you can build a suitable scene for it to display. I will align it on the plane. I will need some more rocks, so I will just duplicate this one and deform it along different axes and place them. Now I am going to add grass using particle system. So I will just uh, sub subdivide the plane to get vertices and select these vertices and assign them our text group now for the grasses i have downloaded this model free from quixel bridge so i will just export them to blender let me separate them all and okay so i will use this grass now i will send them to new collection named grass i will move them aside and add textures like black rough texture for the plane and simple gray color for the rocks 
you can add textures to them if you like but i will keep it simple gray okay so let's link their materials i added a spotlight for display in render view and set the power like about 5000 watts increase the angle to 95 degrees okay let's hide this spotlight and add a particle system here uh, it's like a bug that these hairs are displayed in this version but it is displayed in previous 2.8 version so just ignore it i will change it to render as collection and select the collection to grass this will make the hairs to replace by the objects in the collection grass also set the density to the vertex group assigned because we want the grass in the specific area not on the whole plane now take object rotation and the random option increase the scale of the grass as you can see there is like a repeating pattern so tick the advanced option and rotation option set rotation axis to z and increase randomness in rotation up to one now you can also turn on the interpolated option instead of increasing the particles but i will choose keeping it off Okay, let's add a spotlight. Oh, okay. It happened because it is in the grass collection, so I will just move it to the collection. Okay, now it's look. Good. It looks a bit boring in because already used such lighting in the previous videos, so I will use area lights now. Oh same error again okay let me scale it some bigger okay now i will change transform from 3d cursor so that it rotates while pointing towards the main asset uh, power it up and great I will duplicate it for the soft lighting from the side and also add a point light near rocks. Now to make scene sort of interesting I am going to build a stone fence around grass area. I will scale and rotate these stones along different axes to make them look different or it will look like a repeating pattern so this is the final scene hope you guys like this video so if it is helpful then like share and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching